Hey folks, it's E Chip and Robber out in Contentment. In and, the hot air balloon. <laughs> yeah, in the hot air balloon. That one's for you, Elf Lord. Um, uh, I want to give you an update on what's been going on since our last uh, video. It's been about a week uh, since the things that were in that video were recorded. And so uh, quite a few things have happened. Um, we ran into some trouble with the... Uh, Revenueers. Yeah, with the Revenueers. <laughs> the Colorado uh, Water Resources Board. And uh, tell them about it, Robert. Well, so we went up to see Mr. Skinner. Maybe I shouldn't say his name. So we went to the Water Resources Board to apply for a well permit. And we start the application process. The guy's taking our names, all the information down, the lot number. Pulls it up on the computer and all that kind of fun stuff. And then he goes to an index card holder. Looks like an old recipe card holder. Yeah, basically that's what it was. Behind he, his desk on a shelf. Yep. And he, you know, thumbs through it, pulls it out. Oh, I'm so very sorry, but you can't get a well. Hmm. What? You know, so we were completely shocked, totally surprised. So I'll let Echip tell you why that happened well in the state of Colorado all of the water is technically owned by the state and uh, the Colorado Water Resources Board grants permits but water rights are based upon I forget what they call them primacy or something like that the first person to make a claim on them owns them uh, and can sell them uh, can uh, assess people for use of the water um, or, ha or for access to the water, all kinds of things. Um, if they claim a certain watershed, now in this particular part of Colorado, um, the people who own or the organizations that own these water rights date back to Spain when this was Spanish territory and large land grants were uh, given. Um, the over the over the you know past few hundred years these land grants have become basically corporations that don't really own the land anymore it's all been sold off instead they own all the water rights and mineral rights and things like that and that's where they you know may make their money selling water rights assessing people for access to water or things like that it's it's an interesting system well i thought we had it all discovered uh, we thought that uh, this area we were in here uh, we would have no problem getting a permit for but uh... well so the area we're in was um made what is that called what made up in the 70s oh uh, the we uh, the contentment uh is uh, the land we own in at contentment is part of a really a defunct uh, subdivision that was created back in the 1970s. And so there are like eight different parts of this subdivision. Units. Eight, yeah, units. And so um, two of the eight units are allowed to have wells. The rest are not because the company, the, the developer, the developer, the developer stopped paying the assessments to the water people. And the, there was a court case in the 90s, and the court ruled that in the water people's favor, the water mm -hmm. corporation, and they were able to take back their water rights. So now no one can get a well. No one can get a well in five of the seven units in oh, the subdivision. Not, oh, there's seven, not eight. Hey, I forget how many. Anyway, and, all but two. And in Colorado... To bypass that, you if you own 35 acres, then that all of those rules are null and void. You can have what is known as a domestic well and water your yard, do whatever you want to with your water. Well, go right, ahead. Right? Yes. Well, sort of. Um, you have to have, if you, if you own 35 acres within the subdivision and they're all contiguous lots, mm -hmm. then you can have all those lot lines dissolved. Or if you own and then 35 acres, period. period. Yes. Right. So, anyway, we were informed that there was no way we were going to get a well. 
Um, but in speaking with the folks at the Water Resources Board, they let slip that there may be a little loophole <laughs> that we could, uh, you know, that we could petition for. And in fact, uh, we did. Um, we have had contentments land exempted from the uh, subdivision. So it's no longer part of the subdivision. And as such, it's not subject to the restriction on the, on the well drilling permits. And so we were able to get it. Now they told us, and by the way, we are the only ones who are developing anything in Unit 6. And our plan is to try to get all of this area if we can, um, eventually. Anyway, uh, we were granted special, I guess, access or a special permission. Dispensation. Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> to drill a well. And we were told that we would be the only ones in this unit who would be able to do it. So that's a win-win for us. It's a win-win for the Colorado Water Resources Board, uh, and it's a win-win for the county because um, now the county doesn't have to worry about having you know to to give special permission for future permits, and we basically have a monopoly on this unit now, which is kind of cool. Mm -hmm. So um, it gives us um, a leg up in trying to pick up more land around us, going to the other. Uh, landowners and you know trying to trying to pick up their their areas anyway so we got we're getting a well that's good um it's uh we're waiting on just the f for them to finalize the uh permit and then we should have contact in about a week or 10 days from the well driller we'll set a time to come out and do it what else have we been doing making the shouse the shouse mm-hmm the Shouse has been quite a project. We've been fighting mosquitoes, flies, heat, wind, <laughs> just all kinds of things. But it's coming along. It's coming along. We have the walls up, and almost all the walls are uh, sided. Uh, we don't have the roof up yet, but that's coming next. That's about all we've been doing. Um, thanks for watching, and don't forget to like, subscribe, share, leave a comment. Ring give the bell. Thumb, yeah, yeah, give a thumbs up, ring the bell, all that fun stuff. And we'll catch you next time. We love to read your comments and respond to them. So please, uh, please just leave a little comment. That'd be great. Yep. Let us know you watched it. Thanks a lot. Have a good one. Bye. Bye.